Welcome back to Triple R. We're going to play Land of Dread. Got off Steam from that, 99 cents. Um, this game, I believe, I'm hoping it's just a beta game or an early state because there's nothing going on. And it's, it's, yeah. There's some stuff about it with the music. It is an isometric colony simulator. So you gather resources, build buildings, fight demons. Upgrade structures uh, came out February 2019, so it probably is in beta state. You know, some lore here and stuff. Let's just get into the game. So I got some worker stuff here. You can mine, log, farm. Go to the tree here. Get F. Some, some wood there. Got food, gold, you know, stones, and wood up here. So you go around, get your resources. That's what plants are for. There's no map, so when you build something, you gotta like either find it or try to remember where it is. So this is a rock, and I thought you could bust it down. Go worker, miner. Alright, just that. Go over here. Welcome to Dreadland. Thank you for playing. Controls one, sell food. Two, sell stone. Three, sell wood. F, gather. Right mouse button attack. Shift this camera. Spaces, time, and guide. Okay. Haven't seen any colonists or demons yet. Well, not this game. So can I mine this or not? Yep. Stone here. To be like a, I don't know, a guy in his 30s who's maybe out of work for a while, got a pot belly. Just going off the grid. Got a homestead. Alright, so, and then trying to find like a landmark or something. Alright, let's leave this big tree here and try to build something. So, maybe, maybe, where'd my options go? Okay, build. So, these things produce different things. A hut produces one gold an hour, it looks like. 125 wood, make a bank, a shop, a home, you know, hooker wood, a mine. So let's go ahead and make a home. Whoa, this guy builds fast. Quite the homesteader. Look at this. I don't believe you can go in the structures yet. Hmm. Yeah, you can just walk around. Am I your handiwork here? That you built with a uh, hundred pieces of wood. There's a demon over here. You <laughs> just um, right mouse click on it. And just, I guess you're also a magic user who knows fireball. So that's handy. So we got, what else can we build here? Let's make a little town. Let's build a, uh, let's go over here. Let's build a shop close to us. Shop. All right. That produces what? Food. Okay. Build a mine. No, maybe not. Mine of wood. Yep. I can cut out some trees here. Fireball, fireball, fireball. These demons carry around gold. For whatever reason. I don't get too far away from my area here. I'm already almost lost. Where my house at? Alright. 
We're going to talk about the tree anyway. So what's something that produces wood? Very dark in this land, as you can tell, being in the land of dread. I can't really say this is even really a game. So there's, there's no threat of anything. Like um, those demons don't do anything. <laughs> you just stand there. And I don't. Can you get the? What if this is gold over here? Pick up a shrub. Bushes, give you food, big strawberries, which is the only food I've seen. Yeah, this is probably not worth <laughs> 99 cents. The fact that you really do nothing. What's him working when he shakes like that? He's doing stuff. Alright, should be the last tree we need. Poor team, is they don't even attack. You get right up on them. They just kind of sit there. Yeah, this game sucks. Well, it's not even a game. We'll see what the mine looks like. I've lost the house already, so. And shift. There's the mine. Got an achievement. Okay, for the good, I say unknown. I think this is in beta. Um, I'm pretty sure it is because there's nothing really good I can say about it right now. As for the bad, uh, more than usual, I guess. As muddy graphics, it's, it's dark. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you land in a dread, but it's, it's not very good. Uh, it should be free. I think I paid 99 cents for it. I don't feel I got my money's worth. Um, there's no NPC interaction. You can see those demons. You just sit there. There's no map to find the buildings you did build. As you saw, I got lost. Couldn't find the house. It was big. So, some problems. As for a rating, I'm going to give this game a 2.5. There's really nothing here. <laughs>